watch her, I just say to myself, I can't believe how fearless I am. And I can't believe how many people have been drawn into my situation over the 12 years that I've been here entertaining you on television. Welcome to Hot Topics, Sharina Hudson. Oh. Getting out of my car oh. with my money. Oh. Good morning, Journey. She'll be almost three. I think she'll be three next month, don't you know? Good morning, Kelvin. I can't just imagine a mistress turned fiancé, Sharon Hudson, warning Wendy Williams after going out with her husband, Kevin Hunter, for 15 years while they were still married. How did all this start? Even if Wendy is hurt and talking, can't she just stay quiet? Please share your own opinion on the comment section below as we dive into the matter. Wendy calls Sharon a less than smart and a wannabe model as she recalls how alleged affair began. She made herself available. Yes, I stand with Wendy Williams on this. She knew that Kevin was married but still choose to make herself available. Wendy Williams isn't holding back as she talks about her ex-husband Kevin Hunter and his alleged longtime mistress Sharon Hudson. There is no need holding back something that is known. Wendy had been open to talk on how Kevin Hunter affair with Hudson came about as she admitted she'd known about their relationship for 15 years during their marriage. Hmm, I don't think I can keep it for a year. She was one of these less than smart women who moved to the big city with bright lights and she wanted to be a model, Williams said of Hudson. Wendy know how to coin her words. Tell me. What is the difference between less than smart and not smart intelligent Wendy? She goes further, you know how the girls with the sparkler champagne bottles at the club, they get people to spend more money, they dress scantily clad and things like that. Yes, most of us know those types oh. Wendy goes Fryer to visualize the situation that, she would often be at the club's hosting events during that part of her career, and that's where Hunter met his mistress to be behind her back. Kevin's problem is that Kevin ended up getting with this girl. She made herself available to him. She was very disrespectful to me. Do you know he had the nerve to tell me that she admires me? Hmm, this girl set the trap, and Kevin just fell for it as if he was waiting. Who will offer a dog a bone and expect that the dog will not eat? Who? Williams revealed that she asked Hunter to be a part of her documentary, so he could tell his side of the story, but he refused. Of course, Kevin doesn't want to just come and validate your narrative. She was one of these less than smart women who moved to the big city with bright lights and she wanted to be a model, Williams said of Hunter's alleged mistress Hudson who was reportedly still with him. Fans, beware if bright light girls in big cities. If their light shine on your husband, peep, they are gone. Take note, run away from bright light girls. Kevin Hunter did not want to be part of the documentary, nor to be part of the movie. Be honest here, tell is, what would you have done if you were in Kevin's shoes? Share your opinion in the comment section below. If I was Kelvin, behold, I would run far away to not get embarrassed. Williams added that she doesn't know what Hunter is doing with his life right now, but joked that he's enjoying the alimony he's getting from her. You all know about Kevin the alimony chaser, so we shall just leave it there. Wendy further told Cohen that, you know, I don't know whether he's employed or not. I don't know how they're raising the daughter, Journey, who's almost two years, I think she's two, like next month or something. That's not my problem. My alimony for all three of them is on time every month, she added. Kevin the alimony chaser is really living off Wendy. Williams said she took so long to leave her ex because ultimately she was in love and still believed in marriage. I just don't know why those who love candidly are always cheated upon. Just too bad having this type of adulterous ladies around. Wendy continue, there was really no option in my mind and there is still isn't, she said. Being married is the holy grail. That is Wendy for us. A lady of class, dignity, values, norms and honor. Asked by Cohen if her upcoming movie and documentary will make anyone angry, Williams replied, yeah, stand in line behind my ex-husband. But who really cares? All we want is the documentary with pure truth. You can now begin to understand why Williams' ex-husband did decline the chance to appear in her upcoming documentary. 
I don't know how they're raising the daughter, Journey, who's almost two years, I think she's two, like next month or something. That's not my problem. My alimony for all three of them is on time every month. Williams added of her ex. I know there are some of Kevin fans watching too. Please, kindly advise him to get a job and stop chasing behind alimony. Wendy continued, I expect people to be angry. I expect people to be sad for me still. I expect people to feel like I'm lying. But I also expect people to love me more and I want for people to learn life lessons out of it. One of the thing I love as a content creator is the lessons learned. There is no way you can be reading the news AD creating content without learning some very hardest lessons in life. Let us know which lesson you have learned in this Wendy, Kevin, and Sharon Atria Wahala. Wendy continues, I've been through a lot of things so maybe you don't have to go through them, or maybe you're going through the same thing. Thank you Williams for using your life history to educate the younger generation. Kudos. Earlier this week Wendy admitted that she hired a private investigator to spy on her then-husband. Remember that, in complex situation, you are sometimes obliged to know through spying. Wendy Williams did filed for divorce from Hunter in April 2019 after he fathered a child with Hudson out of wedlock. Then she further admitted she had known about his infidelity for some time but was methodically planning the best way to leave him. It wasn't about being not being vulnerable. It was about waiting for the right time because I was methodically planning to get out of my marriage. Williams revealed earlier this week that she hired a private investigator to spy on her then-husband. She filed for divorce from Kevin Hunter in April 2019 after he fathered a child with another woman, but she admitted she had known about his infidelity for about 15 years, but was methodically planning the best way to leave her marriage. This is what a smart girl does if she is playing the role of being the loving wife. In the meantime, you know, the private investigator was following them on vacation, she added. Wendy always thinks ahead of many. The PI followed her to her GYN appointments and ended up finding out that the girl was pregnant. Bam, I can't also stand the presence of a baby mama. No way. According to Wendy, it was not the first time Hudson had gotten pregnant, but was the first baby she was having with him. Hava, so there have been committing abortion before. Wendy was also reluctant to speak out at the time because of her and Kevin's son, Kevin Jr., who is now 20. So Wendy Williams is now just letting the headlines speak for themselves. I could not talk to you all about everything going on until I was able to sit down and talk with my son. And my ex-husband was acting out of order. So, you all didn't know that, and I wasn't going to talk about that stuff. I was going to save it for the movie. Very intelligent Wendy, catching out her life history. The story is scheduled to play out in the upcoming Lifetime biopic Wendy Williams, the movie. Wendy agreed to the project because the time felt right, having previously rejected approaches from the network. Asked why now, she said, because Lifetime came with the proposal that I wanted. Things just never worked out. But that was when I was still married. I'm in a different period in my life. Lifetime called. And I answered. Note that this is the first time that Wendy named her former husband Kevin's baby mama on her popular daytime show. On Tuesday, Wendy wore a bright yellow dress as she sipped her coffee and made the shocking comments on the program. Welcome to Hot Topics, Sharon A. Hudson, said Williams. Getting out of my car, with my money. Then she mentioned the baby Kevin had with massage therapist Sharona, she'll be almost three, I think she'll be three next month, don't you know? Next she said hello to her ex, good morning, Kelvin, she said. Kelvin is Kevin's legal name. It's my truth. Also this week, she called Hunter a serial cheat. The host admitted his infidelity didn't come as a shock, because he had slept with other people throughout their 21-year marriage. I don't regret putting up with him for all 25 years, and that has nothing to do with him having this baby or him having this side girl for almost 15 years of our marriage. She added, I've known about her almost since the beginning. I've known that Kevin is a serial cheat. Wendy first found out the 48-year-old producer had been unfaithful while she was pregnant with their son Kevin Jr., now 20. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to keep up with updates. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Cheers.